Hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new please make sure you press the subscribe button down below and also the bell notification so you guys are notified every time that i post a new video as you guys can tell by the title this is going to be another lip gloss series i recently purchased some tubes from amazon so these tubes that i'm showing you guys here right now i did get them from amazon there are a little bit of the smaller side um but they do have different sizes which i didn't know was an option but basically you can have them like more longer and i didn't know that so i guess this is like a small a smaller size um i will put all the description down below so if you guys do want to purchase it yourself you can but yeah but right here i'm just showing you guys the lip gloss and how it looks and everything and how the lip gloss look inside the tubes so yeah Right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys the um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the labels that I use to to basically put my logo on it. Um, quick tip: if you guys do have time, because um, the main reason why I chose this option was because I didn't have time and I kind of needed the same day or the next day. But you can go on the website Avery and you guys can just use the template. Like you guys see the number on the top. Of the avery sign you guys can use that exact same um the exact same size and you guys can just make your own logo or upload your logo on avery and you can just basically create your own your own logo labels and they will mail it to you i didn't have that option because i didn't have time to wait for shipping and everything so but yeah but this way that i'm going to be showing you guys is the way that you can do and it is underneath thirty dollars and thirty dollars um is including the lip gloss tubes as well um you guys pre previously seen me showing showing you the the sizes that i chose uh i had i didn't see one smaller than this one which has i think in total 30 on one sheet so i didn't see any one smaller but the size overall was perfect so I didn't have no issue with that now the only issue that i did have is um my logo does have a white a white word in it so it had a white word in it so when they were printing it out you can see it on the paper but when you take it out and cut it you cannot see it on the when you place them on the tubes which i had a problem with but that's just a little hiccup that really it's not that serious because i did need it in a I need I needed it quick so I'm not sure if it would be any different if you did print it out from avery.com but um oh I didn't even tell you guys where I got it from so basically where I got these labels from was um was it home yeah it was office depot so I went to office depot they they have a um, wide variety of the Avery labels so the one that I chose I will link it down below so you guys can see um which one I have but in total it has the 30 the 30 labels in it it had 30 labels and then also it is the clear i think it's the clear matte i actually was looking for the clear glossy but i did not see that one so you could have that advantage to use the clear glossy when you um do it on avery.com but when i was when i went to the store home depot home depot, office depot i only seen the the clear matte so but it, w it wasn't big of an issue so I didn't really mind, but it would be better if you did use a glossy finish. So, um, yeah, so that in total was around $17, $18 with tax. And now, right where you bought it, they do have a printing station where you can just go to. Um, it, it would be better if you do have a template, but if you don't have a template of um, everything, so they could just hurry up and just print it out if you're in a rush. But if you aren't in a rush and you don't have the template already made it's easy for you to just go and and upload their um they'll, they'll be giving you guys i can't speak they'll give you um a email to send your logo to which you will upload it and send it to that that email and all they'll do is upload it and then fix it into the the format of the the amount that you have per sheet 
and all in total i think in total i did four sheets i did four sheets and which in total was what 120 so it was four sheets and my total all together was around 12 not 12 three dollars and 12 cents so which i found was really cheap so in total i spent about 17 18 19 20 about 21 dollars i spent about 21 dollars 20 to 21 dollars on just the labels itself and also for the lip gloss tubes i think i spent about eight to ten dollars for them ten eight to ten for 40 40 lip gloss tubes now the price may vary if you do get a bigger size which i didn't know was an option so if you do want a bigger size you can if you would like now as you guys can see the way that i am putting it on you do have to be very careful because you have to be careful because mainly it is just a sticky piece of paper and you are just laying it on there so it could like crumble up together a little bit so you have to take your time now my issue was that it was sticky but it wasn't as sticky as i wanted it to be and i'm thinking the issue was because i didn't wash my tubes yet so maybe that was one of the issues why it didn't stick as well at as it could have um as you all know like the lip gloss base is very um thick and and just messy so that probably was a reason why that was probably was a reason why that the the labels they didn't stick as well as i wanted it to but overall i'm not saying that it didn't stick as in it's just gonna come off if you just hold it it is gonna stick on the paper but i'm saying as in having air bubbles and stuff like that that it, it could be prevented i'm pretty sure if you washed your tube and there's not a type of layer on top of the lip gloss that could prevent it from sticking as it as well as it could also and you guys see me um basically cutting the logos now i had to cut them a little bit smaller because like i said i do have a collections part at the bottom but it did not show so there was no point for me to have that access paper the smaller the paper is the easier it is for you guys to put it on the lip gloss tube since it is not like a flat surface it is shaped a little bit so you kind of have to like maneuver and cut the label so it can fit as well as it could on the surface since it is a little bit rounded out so i tried to cut them a little bit smaller and not have all the access paper on it which will make it harder and might make it lift lift faster so i personally cut it you don't have to but i just didn't like the excess paper that was on it if you didn't cut it so i personally cut it and it looked perfectly fine i'll show you guys a finished result at the end and you will see how it turned out also it's important to know which direction you're putting the logo because you don't want your logo ending up going all different types of directions so i always make sure that the hand that i'm holding the the, the top of the lip gloss tube is is the way that i'm putting the logo on so keep in mind that you got to make sure that your logo goes on the right direction so all your logo can be all matching and not just all over the place and that's mainly for like picture purposes if you do want to take pictures after you put the logo on so make sure you guys look at how you put the logos on so they all go at one direction
no. Heartbreaks make the perfect song. Nigga shouldn't feel broken by broke ass nigga. Fuck ass nigga, you're a fuck ass nigga. Shouldn't feel fucked up by fucked ass nigga. <laughs> I can't help it. You could have nothing and I still won't chug. Cause that don't change shit. Nah, nah. Now, this is the finished product I'm going to be showing you guys right now. Overall, it was pretty cute, especially on a short notice or anything. So, it was pretty cheap and easy to do. If you guys did try this way, let me know if it worked out for you in the comments down below. Or if this was, video was helpful. This is just a video of the finished product. And I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to press the subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.